What is up? I'm here today to teach you how to set up TSM so you can snipe and post auctions super fucking fast and easy. All right, let's get started. First things first, you want to head to the Twitch app. You want to go to Mods, Games, Wow, and Get More Add-ons, and you want to search for the Trade Skill Master application. So you want to go ahead and download Trade Skill Master as well as Auction DB, Auctioning, App Helper, Shopping, and Mailing. After you've installed all those, next step is you want to head to tradeskillmaster.com. This link will be in the description. Uh, when you get here, you want to install TSM and you want to create account and sign in. Uh, when you sign in on the website and you've created your account, you want to head to app configuration, realm selection, and this is where you can add the realms in which you want to update your market data market base, whatever you want to call it. Um, free free people using TSM can have up to 10 realms, so let me go ahead and remove one of these and show you what it looks like. So it's that easy. You just select your region, type in your server name, and you add it. And that's all you got to do. So now that you've added your realm, you can go ahead and head to your TSM app, which will look like this. there it is and yeah it should update with whatever realms you added uh, if it doesn't update automatically you can go ahead and close out of it and reopen it but then it should show all your realms here and that's all you need to do so now that you have downloaded the add-ons for your game and you have the trade skill master application you can go ahead and head in game and when you get in game you want to type in slash TSM so these are the settings I use I'll explain a little bit but for the most part I'm not going to go too in depth. There's so many things you can do with TSM, but I'm just going to show you what I use it for. So when you go to slash TSM, you can click on the options tab on the top. It's a little deck of cards. And under module options, you go to shopping. And now you can change the market value price source. I use DB region historical. I feel it's a little bit more accurate when it comes to transmog rather than just using DB market because DB market can be easily uh, manipulated or manipulated based off of your server. So I DB, use DB region historical and I use that same uh, input for my sniper options. So if anything ever gets posted below 15% of DB region historical price, then while I'm sniping, it'll show up under that list. For example, if I go here, so this is what the TSM shopping menu looks like over to custom filter and other searches and you start your sniper it'll start searching and it'll just constantly refresh the new item list page and it'll show you anything that's under 15 percent of the region historical or whatever if you put market value in there i wouldn't suggest it it'll also show that so if i go to here i can actually show you why i don't suggest it we're going to sort by the most expensive things and here Matsuba's bread maker. It's a level 80 item level 409 staff. This guy has the only one on the server that's currently listed on the auction house and he's been posting it for the past couple weeks non-stop for 5.5 mil. So as you can see under the tooltip under TSM auction DB, the market value for that staff is 5.6 mil. Which, I mean, that's accurate, you know. It's the only one on the auction house. It's been listed at 5.6 mil, so the auction or the market value of that staff is 5.6 mil. But realistically, the price across all servers for that staff is about 31k. So you'd be scamming yourself, and that's just why I don't run market value. This is just one example of many, many niche items. And when you're sniping, you don't want these items to pop up, and you're gonna be like, oh my god, for 30k, it's zero percent of the market value dude that's gonna be such a good deal but it's really not even using DB region historical you still need to watch out for those things so my suggestion is while you're sniping if you're not too sure about the item just go ahead and do a quick Google search and see look it up on Wildhead so that's for sniping let's go ahead and go back to how we set up auctions uh, first things first we want to go to operations auctioning and you want to create a new operation name when you create a new name, so we'll just say whatever. You can call it transmog or uh, whatever you want to sell. 
click new it's going to pop up here and I'm just going to go over to my one I already have set up so we're going to go to transmog that I have set up and you want to head to post options and these are the settings you're going to change I changed my duration to 48 hours because I don't like posting super often uh, post cap 2 you don't really want to post more than two it actually be better for you to just post one item just how transmog works and most items work if there's a more on the market people tend to just wait till it gets cheaper rather than buying it for like the average price so I put two you should probably put one but that's up to you um, our posting price we undercut we use this uh, input it averages between one silver and like one percent of the minimum buyout so it's a it makes sure that it undercuts enough that people are gonna be buying gears over the next guy but it's not undercutting too much and we also do our bid percent a bit lowered because some people just like to bid and these are the prices we use so our minimum price is 70 percent of the db region historical so if anybody has the same item that you're posting but they have it below the 70 percent db region historical we're just going to post ours at our normal price and same with our max price we do 120 percent of db region historical and if people have the same item for above our max price we're just going to post ours at our max price because that's what we're happy getting and then we just have our normal price slightly below um, you can change these however you want it just depends what kind of items you're posting what you want to get for it um, so that's it that's our whole operation uh, super easy to set up uh, now you want to head over to groups which is the third tab you want to create a new group so what, you should name it whatever you named your operation so uh, I already have one so you can create a group named Mog and now you want to go over to operations and that operation you just created you want to add that to this group so that's it you're all set up um, something to mention about these operations is when you set them up make sure when you typed in these values down below you hit OK because if you didn't press OK or you just press enter it could mess it up and it won't actually read in the price and it'll keep the original price so just make sure whenever you put in these values you click this OK button and uh, if you're first time posting just make sure you review over so now that we have all that um, how you add items to your group is you just go here to your group and whatever items you have in your inventory they'll show up here on the ungrouped items you just select them and you would add them over and that's all you do you would go to the auction house come down here to auctioning and you would just click start post scan and it would start scanning for everything in your inventory it would show the price it wants it listed at and then it'll let you post it and that's that that's how you set up TSM uh, another cool thing if you go back to slash TSM is you can set up a macro to help you if you have like a hundred items in your inventory and you try to post them all you can set up a macro down here using your scroll wheel while holding control or any of these other modifiers just click this button create the macro now if you go back here you just hold control and you spam your scroll wheel it'll go down and post the auction super quick uh, but again make sure that they're posting for the right value you didn't mess up any of your operations and that's it so that's how you set up TSM I hope you liked the video if you enjoyed the video or you have any comments or suggestions go ahead and drop that down below uh, I do stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Simona. So that'll be down in the description as well. As long as as well as a Trade Skill Master website and any other information that I might have uh said in this video. So hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps you out and good luck making money out there.